What is up, ghouls and gorgons? So today's video is going to be a little bit of history, a little bit of a uh, fucked up shit, because that's what I'm going to talk about. That's what I want to talk about. That's pretty much what the future of this YouTube channel is going to be. Now, what we're going to talk about is three paintings. The first one is the Judgment of Cambyses and the Phalang of Cisamnus by Gerard David. Now, Gerard David was a Netherlandish painter, and it currently resides in the Groen. I'm sorry if I butcher this. The Groeninge Museum, uh, Bruges. Now, the reason before we before I go into that, I just want to talk about this fucking this fucking dog. <laughs> the way they painted animals back then was just hilarious. Babies too. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> they look so just off-putting but the reason this guy the reason Sisamnus is being is having his skin torn from his limbs is because he's accepted a, a bribe a fucking bribe now Sisamnus was a judge in this town and Cambyses would not stand for judges taking bribes so the king thought it fit to rip this man's skin off because he was bugging. And not only did he do that, after he killed Samnus, he took his skin and made a new seat out of it, you know, for the next judge, for the next judge's chair. And the next judge was Samnus' son, Octanus, I think his name was. I'm going to look at my notes. Octanus. And that's who replaced him, was his son. And he made that seat out of his father's skin as a reminder to not take bribes because that was unjust to the people of Brutus. And from what I've gathered, the reason Cambyses filleted Xamnus was to mirror when Hercules, when his skin fell, uh, fell off his bones, his flesh fell off of his bones, when the wife that he betrayed gave him a robe soaked in centaur blood. Now, I never knew that about Hercules. You know, all I really know about Hercules is <laughs> the Disney movie. And uh, I hate I hate that because I love I love mythology. And I'm going off topic, but I need I want to do more research and maybe I'll do some videos. Maybe I'll do some videos about Greek mythology, about Roman mythology It just other shit that I think I would want to share. Now, going back to the painting, I don't know how accurately you can pull someone's skin off like that. I don't think it'd be that easy. Just like peeling a fucking orange. Um, but I mean, back then, they weren't the best at human biology. Not in the slightest. <laughs> What's funny is that I think back in like the witch hunting days, to cure tuberculosis or to ail in uh, tuberculosis, they it was prescribed that you had to get a lot of horseback riding in to get fresh air. So that's that's where they were in medicinal advancements. Now, the next painting I wanted to talk about, which is another event of flaying. Is Apollo flaying Marsyas? Now Marsyas is getting his skin ripped off his bones because he challenged Apollo to a musical battle, and because he played the flute, Aluos or Aulos, which is invented by Athena, and he got really good at it. And so good that he thought he was hot shit and that he was going to challenge Apollo, which was not a good idea, as you can see. So Apollo, he won, and he thought, being as, as petty as he fucking was, apparently, I'm going to rip this man's skin off. Because he thought, you know, he beat me, he thought he was hot shit. And, and, and this man did this with his bare hands. He didn't even have a knife. 
he just dug his fingernails into his skin as disgusting as that sounds oh and this was painted by giovanni billivert um in like 1630 and historians thought this was either painted by billivert or his pupil his pupil's name was bartolomeo salvestrini now marseus was flayed in a cave near uh Kalenai, which was an ancient city of Phrygia, in the capital of Persian satrapy of Greater Phrygia. But bro, like what a punishment for what essentially was like an ancient rap battle. So can you imagine challenging someone to like a cipher and you lose and they're so mad that they want to rip your skin off? Just like the brutality during time periods like this is just it just boggles my mind. It's just like how could you be so cruel? But partly that just aids itself to the idea that you know, Greek and Roman gods, their emotions were way more intense than just regular humans. I mean, Zeus had more babies in future. And also, speaking of Apollo, Apollo also killed all of Niobe's sons, and Artemis killed all of her daughters. And that was just as punishment for her pride, because she had more kids than I think the Titan Leto did, who only had two children. So yeah, they're... they're their punishments were severe, to say the least. She got turned into a stone, too, so that, that's that's fun. Anyhow, the last painting is going to be... Like sheep, they are laid in the grave, which... <laughs> don't get me wrong, this this painting is very well painted. It's just, out of, out of the three, this definitely creeps me out the most. And when I'm creeped out, I'm even more interested. And get this, when I looked this up on Google, what was even more eerie to me is there was no other description in like the little sub descriptions of each like result, like search result. They all said the same thing. They all said the same uh, line from Psalms, which I mean, of course, is the name of the painting. But just seeing it repeatedly like that just sent like a mental chill down my spine. But as the... As the, how the verse reads is uh, in the King James Bible and the New King James Version, it reads uh, very similarly, almost the same way, except for like one change. It says, like sheep they are laid in the grave, death shall feed on them, and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. And that was the King James Bible and the New King James Version. Instead of uh, their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling, it says consumed in the grave far from their dwelling. Now get this, in the American Standard Version, it reads, They are appointed as the flock for Sheol. Death shall be their shepherd, and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall be for Sheol to consume, that there be no habitation for it. Now, Sheol is like the underworld in the Hebrew Bible. And um, when the Hebrew scriptures were translated into Keon Greek in ancient Alexandria around 200 BC, the word Hades was substituted for Sheol. And this was painted by James Tissot also. And what his, uh, his art style reminds me of, uh, this is Jaswav Beksinski. And, um, his art was really, uh, it's gotten really popular, you know, amongst, uh, especially amongst metal bands. If you ever listen to a, uh, you know, if you're a uh, heavy metal fan, it's a, it's a nice love story between Beksinski and the heavy metal genre. Now, I had never heard of James Tissot before this, but looking at his work, it looks n nothing like what he painted here. It's actually really, really beautiful. It's, uh, kind of reminds me of J.C. Landecker, not in, not in its art style or its delivery, but its, its subjects. Which, I mean, any artist from that time period painted those, you know, subjects like, subjects like this. But yeah, if you, I guess I'm just going to end it here. I don't have much else to say. If you like the video, you know, give it a like, subscribe, and keep an eye out for when your boy makes another video. Alright, ghouls and gals, I am out. Peace.